I heard you say we're the only ones that can hurt ourselves or something. Yeah, close no to one that. can hurt me. That's my job. Right. Um, mm. How do you relate that to military wars, to political hate, mm. to violent crime, etc., mm. so forth? Change what you can. Change what you can. That's what we do here. It's, it's the right thing to do here. It's as close as we can get to, to living out authentically what's right for us. But what can I do about, like, the way I heard it? Like, it, if I'm in combat and, um, and, you know, what's a scenario in combat that I might fear? Well, I'm just thinking of, I'm the son of a Holocaust survivor. Ah. Uh, or... We all know what's going on in the world today, even here in yes. the States. You know, we're yes. getting, bringing all that in, right? Yes. So it just, to me, and I got caught in the statement, and I'll admit I got caught, it sounded a little privileged. Mm. A statement I made? Yeah, the statement and what about... what was the statement? Uh, um, no one can hurt me, that's my job? Yeah, I think you said it a little differently, mm. but yeah, basically, yes. Mm. Because mm. there are a lot of people being hurt by a lot of other people yes. today. And, and I agree with you. It, it yeah. starts here. I, I, but there I, are a lot of people being hurt by a lot of people here. That's why I'm standing here. Yeah. It's, you don't have to suffer that. Right. You don't have to suffer that. You can get clear. And if you can get clear, someone else doesn't have to suffer that because you understand. And in your presence, there's the possibility that they could too. For example, if, if, someone, if, if someone pulls a rifle and says, um, um, I'm going to kill you, where's the problem? Where's the, where's the problem? Are you all catching on to that? Well, okay. Can I challenge you He's, on that? All right. He's going to, it, it's like he says he's going to kill me. The gun's in his hand, loaded, his fingers on the trigger. Where's the problem? Here. I imagine whether I'm aware of it or not, he's going to pull the trigger, blood's going to fly, and I'm going to die, or I'm going to be maimed and fall and be in agony, and my family's going to suffer, and I'll never see my children again, and it's not fair, and it's all because of the color of my skin or my nationality or my, my culture or, or whatever it is, and, da, 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 da. and he hasn't even pulled the trigger yet. So who would I be without all of that? He says he's going to pull the trigger. Who would I be if I were not projecting a future into imagining what's going to happen? Who would I be without it? Looking to his eyes, the sun shining. I'm looking around. It's just in reality an amazing world, a gift. So who caused my fear and pain? Was it him that said, I'm going to kill you? Or was it me? Who's causing my agony now in that situation? How many of you get, it's me? 100% totally, there's no exception to it. Now, this is a practice. It's a practice. We're working on mother, father, sister, brother. This is to wake us up to reality so we don't have to live in fear. And when we're not living in fear, we do amazing things. I, um, I, I, I hear what you're saying mm -hmm. the moment before. But would you say the same thing to someone a few minutes after they'd been raped? No. They're not very open to inquiry. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're believing. I respect that. I know the pain of believing. They're in a past. They're asleep. I don't see them as someone that's been raped. I see them as an equal. I understand. What do I do? What do I do in a situation like that? A tissue. My arms around them. 
listening, listening, quiet. That, that, is, that just gives them the safest place. It's at the same time a cell phone calling 911. You, there's room for everything and you're so clear because you're not fearful. It's just pouring through you. You don't have to know what to do. You already know what to do. That creative mind, that wisdom just running the show. Effortless, not the doer. Okay, got it. I just wanted to make sure... Sure. I love that question. You know, if I'm if I'm I'm walking to the gas chamber, <laughs> what an amazing day. Other than what I'm thinking and believing in the moment. That doesn't make it right. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make make it right. But am I awake to what ultimately is right? And right being another word for we haven't like reality. God, goodness, the immovable, the immovable. There's nothing you can do about this. Mm -hmm. It's there. We don't have to notice it. It's not waiting for your invitation. It's always there. It's yours. It's perfect. It's divine. It's immovable. Why does it hurt when you argue against it? That's what war looks like. Who started the war? The war opposing reality. So, it's like that, my darling. Thank you. I appreciate you're, your patience with my very, questions. Well, I've got a song to sing, and thank you for, for inviting the question.